All right, man, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. No, 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 let me move his camera around. So we're going to get to that. Before I get to that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torch Talk. If you like the content, please sit subscribe me if you're new here. Let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, single, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. They over there. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is on the screen right there. Catch at PayPal's in the description. They call me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And let me know where you're from. Uh, they call me the king of the north. I call myself the king of the north. You know what I'm saying? So look, before I get into that, um, I see a lot of people watching the videos, but they're not subscribed. You might as well just subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Just subscribe. It's okay. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? We agree to disagree over here, all that good stuff. So look, <clears throat> thank you for being here with me anyway. This is a 12 o'clock show. You know what I mean? So we're going to get to it, man. Let's get it. All right, so this comes from Fantastic Hip Hop. <laughs> Let's get it, man. Now, while for most of the music industry, this time of year marks the moment where things start to slow down, it seems like in and around the hip hop space, things are only speeding up in terms of the direction where everything in the genre is headed. Now, most recently, there is a rumor emerging in the industry that none other than Jay-Z is about to come back outside for the first time since 2017 with new solo music. And now what this supposed report is telling us is that Jay had a private listening event in New York City recently with some close friends and collaborators and had an entire new album's worth of material, which out of everything Jay previewed was highlighted by music that amongst everything else addressed everything about the whole Super Bowl controversy and debacle Jay has been caught in with Lil Wayne. And even bigger than that, straight up called out and diss Drake. And while none of this is confirmed mm. yet, I do think that... Mm. This is going to be interesting, man. Dang. So, I can imagine if there's a song on that album with Jay-Z and Kendrick. And... If Jay-Z and Kendrick do a song and then they performing at the Super Bowl, if they do this song together and they performing at the Super I know I'm probably just wish just wishful thinking. I know I'm probably reaching. I know I'm probably in, but I could see it happening, though. I ain't going to lie if this is true. Jay could drop an album soon. Song with him and Kendrick on it. And him and Kendrick perform the song at the Super Bowl. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I hope that... For Drake's sake, I hope this is not true. I hope that I hope that doesn't come to fruition. I mean, I do, but, you know. We are going to see something from Jay-Z coming soon, not too far in the near future, and that this is going to be some of the most pivotal music he releases in a very long time. But now, before we go any further into this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And so now with Jay-Z and everything that's about to go down between him and Drake and with all of this new music, over everything, the main reason why he is about to come back out in a way that we have never seen is because when we look at the state of where Jay-Z is at right now, there has not been a more important time for him to speak up in years. And at this point in Jay's career, he has shown us that he is never going to be releasing music without some sort of a greater purpose, as from 2017 with 444 to all of his features onward from this very moment. Hove has shown that his new standard isn't to just rap to collect a bag or to boost his streaming numbers, but it's to speak on something that's very important to the current state of his life or career. Whether that was his personal failures as a man on 444, or whether it was clearing up the air around where he and Kanye stood on tracks like 2018. This is going to be crazy if this is true, because you have to think that Jay-Z... Hasn't dropped the album since, I believe, 2016, 2017, right? And on top of that, there's a lot of things swirling around his name. So, you know me, I'm not the type of person that will come out and say that people got to explain themselves, because they don't. But I think Jay-Z will come out 
And he's going to put a lot of these things to bed, to rest. The whole thing with the Wayne controversy in the Super Bowl. He's going to probably talk about the Kanye West thing. He's going to talk about his wife, things that people saying about his wife. He's definitely going to talk about the Super Bowl, the Kendrick thing. And he's going to address Drake. You know what I'm saying? Doing that thing with his wife and all that and saying certain things like, Drake's a doodle ball. He's always going to be a doodle ball. And everybody know he's a doodle ball right on the bottom of your butt crack. You know what I'm saying? He's that guy. And I think Jay-Z is going to come out and expose that. And he's going to say some things that I think a lot of people probably don't know. You know what I'm saying? And this, this is going to be bad for, uh, for Drake. It's going to be bad. What's free, and even later on in 2021 with Donda itself. And now currently, in Jay-Z's career, despite him still being a very active presence in the culture behind the scenes, there is just too much going on for him to stay in the shadows, as his name has just been mentioned too much for him to stay silent for this long without damaging or hurting his reputation. Because first off, with the entire Super Bowl situation, this is a moment that has put Jay-Z at the helm of two major conflicts with two of the other biggest rappers on the planet in both Drake and Lil Wayne. And now while Lil Wayne has only ranted about his frustration about the decision for Kendrick Lamar to be picked over him in his hometown of New Orleans for the biggest show he could ever perform at to this point yet, on the other side of this, Drake has been sneak dissing Jay-Z for months through his social media posts and has been hitting pretty below the belt as he has done things like post a picture of Beyonce's sister Solange, which we all know Jay had some issues with when she called him out back in the 2010s for the way he treated Beyonce. And obviously with Drake posting on his story and knowing the fact that Drake puts more effort into what he posts on social media than he does with most of his actual lyrics, that this was obvious. Yes, yeah, and I was saying that. The whole thing with Solange and the Aaliyah thing, it's just so crazy to me how he just does stay. Drake is, Drake is like that kid next door that got all the toys. He's a real bad kid to his family. But for some reason, his mom and dad still buys him a lot of toys. They still do all these things for him. They don't discipline him. That's Drake to me. He's a spoiled kid next door. And he just doesn't care. And he says what he want to say. He don't care. Because he looks like, well, my mom and dad got my back. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about, about Drake. I feel like he's that spoiled brat, brat kid next door very intentional and was supposed to send a message to Jay. From these to then Drake making some other petty posts that have been targeted at both Jay and Kendrick about the Super Bowl as a whole. As Drake has expressed his desire to seemingly crash the Super Bowl and make an appearance like Bane did in The Dark Knight Rises, between every time Drake has seemingly tried to step on the fact that Kendrick Lamar is playing the Super Bowl, to now knowing that more Drake music is actually on the horizon, as he has an entire collab album with Party Next Door on the radar that's supposed to be released before the end of the year. It's safe to say that with everything going on with Drake, that no matter what bag we see him in musically in terms of what he drops next, that he is going to be throwing some shade at Jay-Z for giving Kendrick a platform to perform a diss track that has ruined his entire reputation on the biggest stage any artist can have in the world. And in I honestly think that Drake is kind of afraid to drop his album. I think that a lot of people say what they want, but I honestly think that the more this goes on, the worse the worse it becomes for Drake. I definitely think that he has a track on that album where he's rapping and he's calling, he's going to address the Kendrick and he's going to address Jay-Z. Mostly Kendrick. I'm telling y'all now, it's going to happen. He's got a track. He's just going to wait to do it. And I don't know when it's going to drop. Some say it's going to drop soon. He said it's going to be out. We still in in November, so still got one more month to go. Might be out sooner than you think, but it's going to happen. He's definitely going to come, and whether he explain, whether he sneak this, it's going to be a track where he's talking about Kendrick. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And it might be a track where he basically say Kendrick won. You know what I'm saying? It might be something like that. But I don't know if he's going to actually directly diss Kendrick, but it's going to be a track. And I'm also thinking he's going to say something about that Super Bowl, about Jay and all that stuff. It's going to happen. In addition to this, beyond just Drake being mad at Jay for giving the moment to Kendrick, Drake's also mad that Jay took this moment away from Lil Wayne and maybe him as a result because despite some vague comments, Drake has never been officially asked to perform at the Super Bowl, which is something Jay-Z has controlled for a good amount of time at this point. 
And whether intentional or not, Jay has now picked multiple artists who Drake is in direct competition with to perform at the event, both in people like The Weeknd and now Kendrick Lamar. So with all of this, just from this situation alone, we see that Jay-Z has more to answer to than he has had in a very long time. And on top of this, in a time where rappers who he has competed alongside for decades, like Nas and Eminem, have also been way more active than he is and have been putting out music that has made a lot of noise. Because of where these two are at in terms of their prevalence within the culture and even with the quality of what they are releasing alone. And even on top of this, someone like Eminem specifically taking a dig at Jay-Z on his track Toby, where he said that he watched Jay-Z when they were on the same track Renegade back when the blueprint dropped. I don't know if 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 he took a a, a street <clears throat> what's the name at 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 Jay. So I don't know if it was a direct shot. <clears throat> I think he was just basically saying that he needs to get his respect because you know what I'm saying he was Put it out there like look i did all these things i don't know i don't know because eminem outperformed him when they were toe-to-toe -to -toe, jay could never be ranked higher than him from the actual beef jay has with drake to his race to have the greatest legacy against people like nas and eminem to all of the other drama and controversy surrounding jay right now as well Jay-Z has a lot to answer to, and if he is still the same Jay-Z who he has prided everything he has ever built his name on since the 1990s, the only way to move through this situation is going to be to release music and answer to all of the noise and chaos surrounding his name and brand right now. So when we look at these reports and then look around and see the moment... I will say this about the three. Jay-Z, Nas, and Eminem, even though we called them legends and even though we say this, I definitely think that they don't get enough respect for them being still in the game and still rapping at such a high level. They're still in the game and they're still rapping at a high level. I don't think that we give them enough credit for that. We don't give them enough credit. They should get more credit because <clears throat> they still rapping at such a high level got to give respect to those three dudes you have to in time we are both in in hip-hop and in culture as a whole jay-z really needs to release another album because the stakes have almost never been higher which is obviously saying a lot and now when it comes to jay-z and everything he needs to address obviously with all of this on this project we are bound to see jay diss drake on a track here in some capacity because with the way drake has been acting and I am sure with the way he is only going to take things further and further because we know Drake never stops sending petty jabs people's way. Their feud is going to reach the highest point it ever has been and the way it has always been heading for years. As these two have I don't think that, that Drake is going to be able to handle uh, a beef with Jay-Z. I Honestly, and I'm going to be honest with y'all, it'll be over. I don't think that he can handle... Uh, Jay Z, and I'll be honest with y'all. I think Drake's career is over. He hasn't been streaming the way he usually does. His videos ain't been streaming. I watched the No Face video, and it's struggling to reach a certain amount of views. He's just not. He's just not the same anymore. And I'm I I was always a cool with Drake. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I was the biggest fan. But I also was definitely tell y'all that I didn't hate Drake, but from what I'm seeing, a lot of people that I know, they don't even, I mean, I'll put it to you like this. This is how big Drake is. And I have to kind of agree with uh, Talib Kweli, or not Talib Kweli, uh, Most Def, when he said that Drake um, is like Target elevated music type stuff. I, I, I didn't I didn't get what he was saying at first, and I always thought that he was being a hater. But then I thought about it, and I said, he actually got a point, and I'm going to tell you all why, right? I don't know if he meant it this way, but I'm saying that I believe that from what he said, I'm taking my interpretation of it, is I was watching TikTok, right? Because I like to, like to shop on TikTok. I mean, go on TikTok. They got some good stuff on there that, for cheap, but it's actually really good stuff on there. I brought this shower head off of it. I got two of them from my house, and I, I paid $5 for it. And it's 
It's better than every shower head in Walmart. Every one of them. You know what I'm saying? One of those things where you press it, you could take the head off, and you can use it as a hose to clean your shower, spray it. It, it, it it's for your hair. It's the, it, the way it comes out. It feels good. It's not too harsh. It's I love it. I love it. I love it. And I paid five dollars, five dollars for it. And it's it's durable. It's made with metal. I'm telling you, TikTok got a lot of good stuff in their shop. I don't mean to be uh, advertising for TikTok, but still, it is what it is. But anyway. Um, um, he said that Drake was LB and there was this girl on there and she was playing Drake in the background and it wasn't, how would I say this? It wasn't that she was deliberately doing it on purpose. It was basically just background music. And that's what I believe. That's why Drake is so big. Cause he has a lot of songs that just, even if you don't really know what the song is, it just like background music. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. So that's what I'm thinking that most deaf meant. But yeah, I, I get what he's saying. Really had bad tensions for years where quietly they have made constant moves against one another. As back in the mid 2010s, from Drake telling Jay Z that he was going to join his own music streaming service title and then him popping out and signing a deal with Apple Music out of nowhere to Jay's surprise right after to Drake making Jay record a whole verse on his track Pop Style on his remix with Ye, and then only including one line from Jay's entire verse to pretty much try and embarrass and diminish his presence. To then Jay-Z sneak dissing Drake on nearly every single collab they have ever done, which in of itself, Jay has only even appeared on these Drake albums to assert his dominance as an MC over him every time he can. To then Drake hopping in the studio with Beyonce and Jay when she was working on her dance album Renaissance. And after hearing what that album sounded like and getting all the insider info, going out and releasing his own dance album right before hers in Honestly and Nevermind, which ultimately caused people to think that Beyonce stole Drake's idea, meanwhile it was the other way around. All in all, even before the Super Bowl, this rivalry between Drake and Jay-Z had been building for so long that something eventually was going to happen like this. But now with this moment being the biggest and most important... I don't think he's going to make it. I'm telling y'all. Kendrick... Kendrick already bodied him. Him battling Jay-Z, it, it's like Jay-Z's just picking the bones now, man. And it's just not... It's not fair. I don't think he's going to make it to that point. You know what I'm saying? I... I know a lot of y'all still got a lot of faith in Drake, but I just don't think, I think his name just holds weight, but I just don't think he's just who he is no more. And, and I just think it's over for him. That's just my opinion. Flash the two have ever had. It makes sense that on this new Jay-Z album, that he is going to address Drake in a fashion like we have never seen. And now with this, while I'm sure Jay is going to throw some heavy lyrical jabs Drake's way, I don't think this is going to be anything like Kendrick's diss tracks, which were these loud and in-your-face moments that got the attention of the entire culture, nor are they going to be like Jay's diss tracks in the past, like TakeOver, and instead, they will be cold and chilling moments where we are going to hear Jay-Z sound equally livid as he does wise. And this will create an atmosphere that really no other MC can right now. And overall, the goal with these will be to intimidate Drake and make him just stop acting the way he does. And while it seems like we will be getting a song like this very soon, when it comes to the timeline of all of this, because of the fact that when we look at the grand picture of this all, Jay-Z is someone who has actually too many powerful connections and brands that he works with to get into a gritty rap beef where he can potentially lose everything he has built over the years. This track is... I don't think that Jay-Z is gonna... If he got into a back and forth with Drake, he's not losing nothing. I want y'all to understand something. Jay-Z is not losing anything. He's not. Like, I know a lot of y'all wish that happened. He's not. He's he, he's very calculated. He's been moving a certain way for years. You think he's going to lose something? I'm telling you, Jay-Z is not losing nothing. It's not going to happen. Unless, unless, unless something comes out that he did something crazy, other than that, he could get into a rap beef with somebody and it's not going to make a difference. Trust me. Definitely going to have a prestige to it that most diss tracks just never do. And because of all of this, it will be coded with subliminal disses that will humiliate Drake, but that not everybody will realize unless they're really paying attention. If you want to save yourself a ton of money, get these earphones because TikTok screwed up the price of these powerful headphones. 
And now in addition to this, what's also just as important to how Jay-Z actually calls out Drake on this album is when he ends up putting this project out and going through with all of this. And now when we look at when this could happen, as Drake still hasn't laid out all of his cards on the table in terms of saying everything he wants to Jay, and also knowing that the Super Bowl is not until February, and this is of course when Kendrick Lamar is going to be performing, and as a result of this, he is going to humiliate Drake like we have never seen before. There is no way we see Jay-Z do anything before the Super Bowl, and in addition to this, as the Grammys are also right around this time, and they have another chance to not give the album of the year to Beyonce, which is another major issue Jay-Z has been livid about recently, as he feels that the Grammys are rigged, as they have never respected someone, even if Beyonce... I don't... I... You already know how I feel about that. Beyonce has the most Grammys ever. And for us to sit here and say that the Grammys is rigged is out of control. I'm sorry. You have the most Grammys ever. For you to say that the Grammys is rigged is real crazy. I don't understand it. Now, I understand the whole point of certain people ain't getting album of the year. I get that point. But to be honest with you, if I got 50 Grammys and you got two album of the year Grammys, I don't care. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> you could just say, well, I got album of the year, and I could say, well, I got song of the year, I got video of the year, I got way more Grammys than you. You know what I'm saying? You might have put a better, whole better project together than me, or maybe they just picked that, but that's crazy for people to say that, she has the most Grammys in history, I believe. And for you to say that Grammys is rigged, come on, man. I'm not fooling with you. Stature with the biggest award they give out in the album of the year. This could be another thing that Jay-Z adds to his list of what he wants to address on this project. So overall, knowing all of this and having all the proper context, well, there is definitely going to be a lot that will happen in this time between now and when we actually hear this new album from Jay-Z. And who knows where Drake takes things with him and even how Lil Wayne may address all of this entire situation when the Super Bowl actually happens. All in all, it's clear that this has been the most important time for Jay-Z to release an album since 444. And in order for him to keep his rap legacy in the place that so many have had it for years, he is due to give us a new record and address everything going on around him. Which from what we have seen and what everything is building to so far, a lot of this is going to be about where everything's been headed with Drake and maybe even Lil Wayne and no matter what direction Jake goes in here, I am sure that this is going to be another moment that is just going to be so revealing about how Drake has been perceived by his peers for years. Maybe even how Lil Wayne has protected him from the scrutiny by having such a good reputation, which he has now thrown out the window, which that would just be another insane rabbit hole to say. And beyond all of this, at this point, it would really show us what's really been going on in and around the rap world as a whole. Now, the thing is, I don't really think that Drake and, and, and Wayne is that close anymore. I think Wayne and Drake are not friends like that. I think they're just not saying it in the public eye. And the more and more I think about that verse with, with Wayne and Corday, um, starting to believe that that was about Drake. I know people were saying it wasn't, but I'm starting to believe that that was about Drake. I'm starting to believe it. So with all of this, while so much is in the air, it's clear that whatever happens, this is going to be another moment that is going to shake hip hop to its very core. And so now with all that said, let me know. What do you think is about to happen with Jay-Z and Drake? How do you think this situation is going to end? And if Yeah, so make sure y'all go follow Fantastic Hip Hop. Yeah, I'm just not, I don't think that they're friends. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people think that they are. I don't think Drake and, and, uh, and Wayne is friends no more. Now, as far as Jay-Z goes, um, I think at this point, Jay-Z dissing Drake, it's, it been a, it's been a long time coming for Drake, and he definitely need to get hit upside the head a couple with a couple of bars. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that, I don't necessarily think that Jay is just doing an album just to diss Drake. I don't think that. I think there's a lot of things he probably want to address, and maybe he just want to do some music. You know what I'm saying? You know? I don't know. But... We'll see what happens, but I, I, I definitely, I definitely want to hear it. I definitely want to hear what he got to say. You know what I'm saying? I think four for four was his last album. Now I would say that that was that was that was damn near classic. That was actually a really good album. You know what I'm saying? Really good album. And um, you know, it is. But we'll see what happens between this this dude. But I think if he if he does do a song coming at Drake, yeah, it's over for Drake. It's over. I don't know what Drake's going to do because the more he does, it just seems like the more he's digging himself a hole. And I think that he should definitely, definitely sit back 
and don't do nothing for a while and then come back with a, with a couple of bangers. If I'm Drake, I'll tell y'all what I would do if I'm Drake. If I'm Drake, I'll just do a rap album. I won't even do no singing. it will be all rap, hooks. I'll have one of the hardest producers do the whole album. I won't do no singing. There won't be no singing. It'll just be a certified rap album. You know what I'm saying? And I'll call it the comeback season two or something like that. And I'll start from there. And I'll I'll start my whole career over from him, the comeback season. And then I'll go from there. And I'll name all my albums that I would have released will be part two to the to my old albums. And I'll do similar songs, but mostly rap bass, not too much singing. That's what I would do if I was him. That'll be something totally different. And on top of that, it'll shock the world because people will be like, oh, like people will be interested. The next thing they'll see, oh man, he's doing something. It'll be different. Because conceptually, Drake can't mess with Kendrick. He can't mess with Kendrick either way when it comes to anything, to be honest with you. But conceptually, he can't. The only thing I could see him doing is doing something that he could say that he he did because he hasn't done a full rap album. He does a full rap album with skits and he think that and and you have a well thought out album, like a well thought out rap album. You know what I'm saying? I would even use some of the things that was said in the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll even use some things that were said and I'll make songs out of it. You know what I'm saying? I would if I'm him. I'll put all of, I'll put it all on the table. Cause that's the only way you're gonna come back. Cause if you coming back trying to just rap, people are still questioning, they pointing and they asking. Not to say he has to explain himself, but still and all. Like, you gotta come out with something that's strong, that's that's good. You coming out with these regular degular songs, it's not gonna work, bro. No face was cool, but it's not, it's not nothing that we haven't heard from you before. So, but either way, I'm out of here, man. You have yourself a good afternoon. Six o'clock show coming up. You know what it is, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye.